Ales. Hello there. Hello. This this night, October the fourth, is the Simpsons Night of the Living Treehouse of Horror. Which oh man. Is, hell, that's a real mouthful. I am completely unfamiliar with this game. Me too. It's a Game Boy Color game. It was uh, published by THQ and developed by Software Creations slash Acclaim Studios Manchester. Um, okay. Which is a studio. I was looking through their like the list of games that they made on Wikipedia. It's like Wolverine for the NES and. Some You're great. ports of Bionic Commando for the Amiga, the Amstrad, CPC, the Atari ST, Commodore 64, and ZX Spe Spectrum. Wow, really? Yeah. Okay. They made Tinstar and Plock, which those games are kind of okay. What's Tinstar again? I mean, obviously cowboy related, but... Yeah, it's like a robot. Or it's oh. not a robot, but it's like a cartoony uh, thing. It's like a... I think that I think that you it, you was a Super Scope Six game maybe. Oh, maybe. Um, Sounds possible. There's only uh, like two good Super Scope Six games though. So yeah. is that a g -g 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 ghost? Yes. Yeah, I think they they I'm... also did uh, Ken Griffey Jr.'s Major League Baseball for the Super Nintendo, which is actually like a legit pretty good game. Um, but they, like, later on, after they got picked up by Acclaim, it was mostly just, um, like, a couple of sports games, some racing games, and a bunch of licensed crap. Same thing as, like, later on with uh, THQ. So, anyway, let's fire this up and see what's up. Hi, Joe. Hi. How you doing? How are things? I'm doing all right. How, how many times have you beaten... The Simpsons, uh, tree Night of the Living, Treehouse of Horror. Uh, zero. I thought this was a Game Boy game for some reason, but it's in color, so that's it's a clearly Game Boy not. Color game. It's a game what Boy kind color of game. mysterious Game Boy operates in color? <clears throat> well, game Boy color. Actually, I did know that because I was gonna put this in uh, a video that is is available for Patreons right now, um, but is going up soon and uh i then couldn't because it's a game boy color game so i so guess i actually did know this was a game boy color flattest game. we've ever seen bart simpson's head look yeah i was gonna comment on that <laughs> well look how many pixels does this thing have apparently not enough to do spiky hair Oh, whoa, this room uh, is just fucking me up. Holy shit. Wow. The resolution the of the Game Boy Color is the same as the resolution of the Game Boy. Fuck, I dude, get off well, me, bro. Well, off my head, I don't know what that is, but... Damn. Uh, 140 by... Uh, it's small. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is pretty horrifying, Eric. It's like uh, 144. Yeah, I mean... Some sort of possessed... Uh, is this a... Okay, so let's see. What year did this game come out? Uh, two thousand one. So two thousand one. Jesus. Yeah. So it's like um, there's a. I was gonna say I don't recognize the references that I'm seeing in this particular episode, but one forty four by one sixty. It's pretty small. So it's like a tweet wide by an old style tweet tall. <laughs> sure. There's a donut. Oh, that gives me my health back. Great. So this must be okay. I have to find a blue key to go through that door. It appears that the brooms are invincible, or man, it just I can't get away from the fucking thing. Like I can't even jump over it. Maybe I can find something that. Uh... Little me more easily. Oh, there's a whole bunch of keys. Gold, orange, and purple. Um, I wonder if there's uh This has like it looks like it has a password save system. So. So look forward to continuing this next week. Yeah, maybe I can find some passwords that will. Uh, let me see some of the other levels. Because I'm kind of curious. Like, that's the thing I'm most curious about is what episodes of the Treehouse of Horror this references. Um, it seemed like there was kind of a good amount of stages in that Treehouse stage select screen thing. 
Are there any good Simpsons games besides the Konami arcade game? That's the real question. Not really. GameCube open is it GameCube open world one? Oh yeah, hit and run. Oh yeah, hit and run. Yeah, people like. I thought that was supposed to be all right. The Crazy Taxi one and the open world one were both supposed to be all right, right? Yeah, they're okay. And um. Krusty's Funhouse, which was a, not a Simpsons game when it was made and was reskinned to have Simpsons characters after the fact. But that's like a fine puzzle platformery thing. Yeah, it's okay. The best Simpsons games are like B pluses at best. Yeah, even the Konami Arcade game is really kind of tops out at B plus, I think. Yeah, I think I think that's probably the best of the bunch. Um, I think that Konami's licensed brawlers of that era get for the most part, get a little more credit than they deserve. There's one that gets just as much credit as it deserves, but the rest kind of... They're okay. I mean, it's a time and place thing, you know. Sure. But, like, even... Mm, actually, I'm not I'm not totally sold on that. I'd have to look at what, what like, was, Capcom and It was and exciting Pac to Nose walk into, like, same. a mini-golf place and see... Six-player X-Men. Right. Or six-player, four-player yeah. Simpsons or Teenage Mutant sure. Turtles or whatever. Yes. Um, yes, and in that true. context, those are those games are all totally fine and good. But as yeah, but they're all arcade brawlers. Play, they're not. Yeah, they don't have the depth of like in some of the really good home ones. They don't have the depth of some of the really good arcade ones. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, something like Punisher or the D and D games or Alien vs Predator are considerably deeper experiences than mm. uh, Can't get away from that broom. X Men. Like I, I played through X Men about a year Come ago. Come on, you useless fool! Party. Try harder. That's a noted Simpsons line. Come on, you useless <laughs> fool! Try harder. Yeah, it's, it's a Simpsons reference everybody knows, yeah, right? One of the early episodes, for sure. Um, you know, sim six player X Men lives and dies on the novelty of it being a double screen six player game. Well, and uh, that you can have yeah six six players in particular. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Is it, it it all of a sudden this game had a giant super wide image that you weren't used to seeing and you could play with six people and oh, and it looks pretty was, good. Yeah, yeah. I to mean, be yes. Fair. Like the, it's a good looking is, game. Yeah, yeah. It's a good looking game, but at, at its core it's you you've got one attack button and you've got a special that's limited. It's very repetitive. It gets very old very fast. The levels are all just walk walk one direction and then sometimes walk back the other direction. Um, there's not much interesting to the levels. The bosses are not there. You know, the bosses are all damaged sponges who have these ridiculous attacks that you can't avoid because it's a quarter muncher. It's just, it's, but Joe, welcome to die. Welcome to die is pretty great. But that is another problem with it is that even though it is a licensed game, that the use of the license is incoherent at best. <laughs> um, so, you know, I mean, I like that game for what it is. I'm just saying, like, the that game and The Simpsons and the first Ninja Turtles have this sort of mythic reputation that I yeah, don't... Yeah, they're all kind of shallow and... The second Ninja Turtles, specifically the Super NES version of the second Ninja Turtles... Uh, that is a pretty solid game. ...has some great set pieces, has some bosses that require you to do some outside-the-box thinking, especially when you fight Shredder, which is not in the arcade game, and you not only... So it's always cool to be able to throw the foot soldiers at the screen, like, that's always a, a cool thing, but that they put a boss battle in the Super Nintendo version that actually uses that, where you have to do that to, to win the fight. Um, I mean, that's cool with Battletoads did it also. Wait, first? I don't know if well, it's first. Battletoads did it first, but you, it, you in Battletoads, all you did was pick up a rock that was on the, or a, you know, a used bullet or whatever that was on the play field, and hitting the default attack button through it at the screen automatically. Jesus, that broom like, gets me on the couch. Yeah, that too. broom, that broom. I don't is... know how to get around the broom. No fuck with the broom. I look, man. I gotta find these fuses so I can get the key, but I can't find the fuses i think unless oh, i man get past simpsons the night of the living treehouse of horror was resident evil 7 before resident evil 7 capcom ripped off uh -huh. night of the living treehouse of horror yeah that tracks mm -hmm. is there a killer broom in resident evil 7 <laughs> i knew that, that was yeah. gonna be the next question <laughs> uh yes there there is no, there's not. That That's I why I haven't played that game. It sounds too scary. Head. Has anybody hit? Does anybody attack you with a broom? I'm trying to think if that happens, but I don't think it does. 
Uh, Jack attacks you with a shovel. Mm -hmm. He kills that cop with a shovel. My favorite thing about horror media, horror films, and horror games is the way that they take a totally unrealistic uh, approach to human anatomy. Like, if you hit somebody in the back of the head with a shovel, no matter how hard you did it, you would knock the person over before the shovel would go through their head and, like, out their mouth, <laughs> right? Like, there's no chance that happens. But in, in, in a horror game, that can happen. Jack can hit a cop in the back of the head with a fucking shovel, and it just comes out his mouth and splits his head. It's a really sharp shovel, man. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, don't mess with the shovel. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Um, best Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episodes. Um, I only just remember the one with the super fun Happy Slide. Oh, I don't the, remember uh, that one. Where Mr. The, where Mr. Burns the, is a vampire. Yeah, it's the interview oh, with sure. the vampire. Okay. Um, yeah. Parody. That well, that's did. not true. I remember a few others. Um, I was gonna say I conflate them though because I I. I remember several segments, but I don't remember which episodes they yeah. came from. I remember the one where they have to get Paul Anka to do like a reverse jingle so they don't look at all the billboards and advertising icons that have come to life for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I don't. That must um, be a later season one because I didn't see that. That is not a later season one because I stopped watching The Simpsons re really a long time ago. Um, yeah. When do you think that happened? That. Doesn't sound like anything I, mean, I recall. Nine ninety five, maybe at the latest. Um, let's see here. Homer going three D was Attack a hell of an episode. Fifty foot eyesores was ninety five. Nailed it. What season is that? Seven. Oh, did I miss that one? I don't remember that at all. That's the Homer cubed one. It's the same episode, Mike. Oh. Weird, you think that Paul Anka would stick in my memory, but... <laughs> yeah, that one is Attack of the 50-Foot Eyesore's Nightmare on Evergreen Terrace, which is the one where Groundskeeper Willie is Freddy Krueger. That's right. pretty good. And Homer Cube. I like the Night of the Living Dead one, I think is really good. The one where he kills Flanders? Yep. Um, I like the one where he sells his soul to Flanders and has to eat. he needs the Forbidden Donut. Yeah. That one's very good. Um... That have all the donuts in the world. Yes. Yeah. I like the. I like. Um, Ooh, I see. I understand. The now. first one. The first one. Uh, the bat, which is bad dream house, hungry are the damned, and the raven, which was very 1990. Good. That one's very good because I, I, I like the, the. There's the, the interdimensional portal in the haunted house they buy, and like Homer throws an orange in it, and the people on the other side throw a note back that says, Quit throwing our, your garbage into our dimension, or whatever, which is pretty good. And then it's this the To Serve Man parody where they keep blowing dust off. Right, the right. Board. How to cook four humans, how to cook right. 40 humans. Right, yep. How to cook yep. four and 40 humans. Yep. And then the version of The Raven with uh, James Earl Jones actually reading the poem is. Nice, and Bart's the Raven. Pretty good, and Bart is the Raven, yeah. Quote the Raven, eat my shorts, man. <laughs> Fuck off, spider. Um, There's no way to really aim this slingshot. It's all body positioning. Yeah, okay, but I so think I figured out, seven... So I figured out that each of these fuses, fuses turns on different lights in the house. And so when I turn the lights on, the broom goes away. So, okay. Uh, I figured out how to, how to win. Crack the code. Yeah. Like, I don't... But some of these, once I get much past that one that I mentioned, this uh, Trails of Horror 6 from Season 7, 1995. Uh-huh. Uh, after that, I'm just like... Mm -hmm. I, used to, I continued watching those even past the point where I kind of stopped watching The Simpsons... Like generally speaking, yeah. Wasn't there a? I feel like there was a. Um, so that room's the basement. I feel like there was a DVD at one point that had just a whole bunch of Trios yeah, of Horror episodes on it, but I don't know if that's still like in circulation. That seems like a thing that I would buy, <laughs> that I would want to have. 
but... Yeah, see, I turned the lights on in this room and the broom went away, so... There you go. I'm a genius at video games. It's true. Oh, alright, so that room's still dark, so I gotta go take this fuse back. Boy, this is some video game. It's sick. You feeling happy about your choices right now uh -huh. in life? I mean, the beautiful thing about these streams is I can just stop this whenever I want. It's true. So. You can tap out whenever <laughs> you're ready to tap out. Is something keeping you from stopping the other ones whenever you want? I mean, we do, tend do to need, try to go for to... an hour on Wednesdays. And, you you know. need to contact the police, Eric? Well, I mean, Genesis <laughs> or Genesis or half an hour. And on the stick after dark is usually at least an hour, right. you know, typically, so. This one, this could be like, I could stop now if I want. Good, yeah, you could. But I feel like... I feel like I would at least like to see another stage. I found a list of passwords on GameFAQ. Yeah, you mentioned that. So maybe I'll uh, so check out one of the other levels. When I, when I dropped in, were you talking about the people who developed this particular game? Yes. So, or who, and who, who were those fine people? It's uh, Software Creations. Uh -oh. Also, aka Acclaim Studios Acclaim the... Manchester. So it yeah. started out as a THQ developer and then was picked up by Acclaim later. So they were always bad is what we're saying? Um, they made <laughs> Block. Because <laughs> THQ in those days was like... Yeah, they, there was some decent... Like I said, they made that Ken Griffey Jr. game. Or they were involved in that. The Super Nintendo one. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's see what Moby Games tells us about software creations. Um, Eric has strong feelings about Block. If you keep holding up, you just go back. Th I don't know. I mean, it's it's okay. It, like, looks okay. If you hold up, if you go up the stairs, it just puts you back through the door, which is a real weird choice in a 2D platform game. Hmm. They did the good uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade game on NES. Okay. And yes, there are two different Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade games on the NES. Um, we were ta I was talking about this with Anthony last night. How many Indiana Jones adventure games are there, actually? There's two, I thought. Last Crusade. I thought there were. I, okay, so there is an adventure game, Last Crusade, on PC yes. as well. Yes. Let's go back. Scum, uh, Scum Engine. And then, yes. Uh, Atlanta, Mr. Atlantis something. Something about Atlantis. Fate, Fate of Atlantis. Fate of Atlantis, yeah. Yeah. I think that's the only. Those are the only two, I think, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, Software Creations is. Like, they, they had some stuff. They could make some video games. It looks like they did a lot of porting work for... Yeah, they did like a bunch of those weird European... Uh, they ported Bionic Commando to a bunch of weird European computers, which I thought was pretty fun. Yeah, are they the ones who did... They did the Genesis port of Double Dragon 1, which is better than the Genesis port of Double Dragon 2. <laughs> Um, so turn the lights on in the bathroom, but apparently... They yeah, they did anything. Plock, they did Maximum Carnage, which is like a perfectly cromulent yeah, video that's game. Okay. That's a Spider-Man game that you can play. That's a, that's a pretty good Spider-Man beat-em-up. That's fine, yeah. I mean, it's only one player, so that kind of sucks. But they did the sequel, Separation Anxiety, which is two players. That's a little... Uh, they did the... Which port of Mortal Kombat 3? I'm going to guess Super Nintendo, but maybe Genesis. Maybe both. Um, oh, they did the Game Boy port of Mortal Kombat 3. Whoa, woof. Yeah. Um, Sculpture did the Genesis version. And, uh, wow. The Sculpture also did the Super NES version, so. Um, they did the N64 port of Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey. <laughs> okay. Was that a port, or was that just a game that was on... No, there was an arcade version. No, there was an arcade... Yeah, yeah. There was an arcade game. Yeah, they did the they did the home port. That's a that's a pretty fun hockey game. It's NBA Jam, but hockey. When, I, when Midway was ass deep in doing the NBA Jam, but hockey. Um, I'm going to guess this is the N64 port of Hexen, because I know Wisconsin-based <laughs> software house Raven Software did the original version of Hexen. Dang. So, now, where's the basement? Is this the basement? Oh, fuck off, book. Um, okay, this is weird. So Moby Games says <laughs> the Nintendo 64 version of Hexen 
was published by id software developed by beam software and ported by software creations but that doesn't really make like, a lot of sense that doesn't make sense because beam didn't develop the game originally raven software did which movie games also shows like the dos and mac they might have outsourced some part of it or something yeah it could be that's not usually how they list it though that's not usually like the way they oh, describe it's a fucking that. book dude um did it start all over they did some sports games, it looks like. FIFA 99, World Cup 98. They did a port of Carmageddon 2. I'm going to guess that's also the N64 version, but I don't care enough to look. And they did a bunch of Nickelodeon games. Rugrats Time <sighs> Travelers, Nicktoons Racing, Rugrats in Paris the Movie, Rugrats Castle Capers. Their final game was Super Monkey Seems like Ball. like the horrible Ooh. thing is how bad this game is. Yeah, <sighs> Super Monkey Ball Jr. for the Game Boy Advance was their final On song. published work. Yeah. <sighs> Noted good game makers, Fox Interactive and <laughs> THQ combining on Simpsons Night of the Living Treehouse of Horror. Don't seem, doesn't seem to let me use the enter password here's, thing. And here's the thing. There's like two buttons on a Game Boy. Uh, They're color, starting right? to select. There are four buttons. They're starting right, to select. Doesn't seem like. Maybe I don't have all the buttons mapped or something. Say, did you not map start and select? I mean, I know I did start because you have to use that to uh, get through start everything. The game. But, but, uh,. Yeah, man, I don't, I, and the funny thing is, as a kid, I never learned. Like, I would just keep renting Simpsons games. They'd put out a new Simpsons game, and I'd check it out, and they were always bad, but every time, it's like, oh, maybe Escape from Camp Deadly is good. Like, no, it's not. Kid, you're dumb. Kid Joe? Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, I figured out how to beat this level, but I just don't want to do it. That sounds uh, fair. Although I will, I'll be honest. Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the design of this level or the layout of the map or anything. Um, even like, like fetching a thing and like traversing this haunted house seems totally fine. But playing this game fucking sucks ass. Are the controls just like total garbage? Yeah, I mean, it, it's like really stiff and um, just kind of doesn't, doesn't look like a lot great. of fun. Also, there's, always... there's no way to really like do anything with this slingshot. And the trajectory is kind of hard to track, so it's like you have to, you can't jump and shoot, so it's just like. Yeah, it's very hard. Uh, you have to like position a, yourself, and I don't know, it just doesn't feel all that good. Something but. I always struggle with, and I know a lot of other people who make videos on YouTube about games, and especially old games, struggle with, is trying to explain bad controls. Yeah. Like, it's very difficult it's to feeling. explain. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they're you mean, control... explain how they happen or explain what they feel like. Explain what they feel like because watching game footage does not impart to you like how the controls are bad. I feel like I, I feel like it does a little bit. Idea. Like you can tell just by the way that Bart animates the he's, right, he's over animated when he shoots the slingshot and stuff, but stuff like when the jumps feel slippery or when the controls take us you know when there's a delay like if you switch directions and the character doesn't respond like that doesn't read just looking at game footage you know you have to try to explain that the the mushiness or the you know yeah this game is this game just feels very stiff to me um no yeah. Like, you can kind of control your jump in midair, but just, like, I feel like I want everything to, like, run 10% faster also. But if it did, it would be impossible to line up shots on the animals and stuff, so. Well, their hitboxes just look like they should just be bigger, right? Because, like, you were shooting at the vacuum, and, like, only if you hit it square in the middle of the dust bag did it seem like it actually did anything. Okay, I gotta go into the kitchen. Hold on, I'm gonna beat this level. Just you wait. I have faith. It's all a matter of execution at this point. I go in here, get this other fuse. But yeah, I don't. There's there was a time when developers were very enamored with sort of you know these kind of rich animations, and it's like 
it's cool that you animated I mean, you Bart can do actually that. pulling like, the slingshot Dead back Cells and has amazing but... animations, but you can just cancel out of them. Right, I was going to say, it smoothly. does. Well, but also the attack animations, like, the attacks come out right away. Right? In Dead Cells, I never right. was attacking with a sword or, what, you know, or a knife and felt like, you know... There's a delay here that shouldn't be here. I mean, that's where the weapons... skill comes in, Joe, is that you have to position yourself properly and right, give right. yourself enough of a runway between you and the enemies to hit them with your thing. I mean, sure, but that's not fun. Like, uh, not really. <laughs> you know, there's there are games where the attack animations are. I mean, everybody loves the shit of you know Dark Souls, and those games have very deliberate attack animations. But that's part of choosing one weapon over another in those games, right? Yeah, like, you always pick the giant club when you play Dark Souls. So. Uh, I think you mean giant sword, but yes. I right, literally but, mean the giant club. Or the great club. I mean, I picked the dude who threw fireballs, so like, that, you know, whatever, but it, that's part of the strategy. It's not just like, like, it's there for a reason, right? Like, Is that the or even living room? some of the Castlevania, you know, the the, the exploratory Castlevania games, like, there are big swords that are slow. Or you guys are both playing Bloodstained right now. Like, there's some big, big-ass swords in Bloodstained, and they're real slow, but, like, that's the point, right? Is that the big-ass sword is slow because it's big and powerful, and, you know, right. if you instead it use a, a rapier... Ass. Right. If you use a rapier instead, like, you're... Like these family you're... portraits on the wall? Yeah, those are nice. Those are nice. They look a lot like The Simpsons. <laughs> They very much look like The Simpsons. Kind of. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, you know, but there are daggers. And for a while, I used I used a poison dagger for a good long while in uh, Bloodstained. Wish there were better shoes in Bloodstained. Because I like kicking it's things. It's been a while since I found good shoes, I gotta admit. There aren't a lot of good pairs of shoes, especially later on in the game. It's kind of yeah. a bummer. The ones that you can do the downward, like they have like a knife in the heel drop, or heel, yeah, and you can those are pretty good. But... Yeah, they're they're kind of early game though, so they kind of yeah, they drop off pretty quick. Yeah, there is an ultimate pair of shoes, I believe, just like there's an ultimate everything else. Oops. You know, to... just yet. Right, I'm gonna beat this. A bunch of crafting nonsense to I'm actually. On my way. I, I gotta say, I'm enjoying that game a lot more than I thought I would. That's all right. I liked it a lot. I mean, it's 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 gonna it's, make my list this year. It's right? goofy as hell. Yeah, it's goofy as hell. I was talking to Eric about this the other night. The thing I really like about it is that it feels like it's it, it feels like a true follow up to Symphony of the Night in the way that a lot of the other games didn't because it there's so many ways that you can kind of break it wide open and kind of make yourself way more powerful than. It feels like the game intends you to be, but obviously it, it does intend you to be able to do that. But, you know, a lot of later Castlevania games really didn't want you to do that. Um, and it was very hard to accomplish that. But Symphony of the Night, you know, has like 10 different ways that you can have weapons that are maybe a little overpowered. And, and Bloodstains kind of continues that tradition, uh, which I liked about it a lot. How far are you, Mike? Uh, seventy-five percent of the map. At this point, so you're a little ahead of me. I think. Uh, say both you guys are about this. Did you beat thing. the lava world. I just barely finished the lava world. Did you get the power up at the end of that section? Yes. That is thing is is awesome. It's pretty wild. Yeah. That is a pretty wild. I to me, I feel like that game is super ugly, but that power kind of justifies the fact that it's three D. It's in three D. Yeah. You, oh, it's you really ugly. I, I the game looks very bad. Um, but it's just filled with so much weird uh, nonsense that I that I've been enjoying it a lot. I don't think I I would not praise the graphics in this game, but I don't think I'd go so far as to say it's pretty ugly. It's pretty That's, ugly. I have no trouble at all saying that it's pretty ugly. It's so shiny, and like generally kind of low detail. I mean, I guess, but like, where do where do games that where do games like Life of Black Tiger fall on the scale if? I, if I knew what that was, I would answer your question. I mean, look up a video of it. It's like a mobile game they ported to the PS4, and it looks like fucking trash. Um, I mean, it looks real bad, and that's... I guess that's sort of what I'm saying about categorizing... Okay, there are games that look worse, but it's not a good-looking game. It has a... It's just like the art direction is bad. 
I mean, Metroidvania games that have come out recently. You know, Hollow Knight looks great. Steam World Day no, Two looks no. great. Um, Dead Cells looks know? real good. Dead Cells looks amazing. Dead Cells looks real good, yeah. Even Cliff even Cloud, even Dead among Cells polygonal two D games, which is not an art style that I like, I think that one is particularly not good looking. Like compared to like Klonoa Two or. Um, even like Rocket Knight Adventures, which is like notably generic looking, I think is like has a, just a more cohesive overall art direction. Uh, whereas I think it was is... other good 2.5D. That Bloodstained yeah. really feels like a PlayStation game to me in a lot of ways. It's just uh, it looks a lot better than any any PlayStation game. Yeah, but I mean the way that the art direction's kind of all over the place, and the way that the uh... see, I actually think the art direction is fine. I don't mind that incoherent. The, the fucking weird... like the the fonts I, and I the just... interface and the the character like those huge ugly portraits of the backers and the way some of the background <laughs> stuff uh-huh. doesn't yeah, fit are... in with the like there's a lot of really like weird elements that clash in that game um which despite all that i still like it quite a bit but it's just i think what's good about it is that it has a real kitchen sink approach to just like yes. everything that he could think of went into that game what? and there's a I feel like I had a lot of legitimate surprises playing that game where I was. I'm just really I glad that I was that not it, expecting. Like, turned out right because it's like after Mighty Number no. Nine was such a goddamn disaster. Which full disclosure, I backed both of those on Kickstarter, um, so I was sort of especially trepidatious about Bloodstained. Um, but I think once I played the there was like a Fourth of July demo two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Or maybe it was just a year, year, yeah, no, sorry, year and a half ago or whatever, you know, 4th of July demo um, that I played. I played it on stream, as a matter of fact. Uh, once that came out, then I felt like, okay, like, this feels good. It doesn't look great. It looked uglier then, even, if you can believe it. Um, you know, I was fine. I, th- I felt fine about it. But, like, when I played the Mighty Number no. 9 demo, I was like, this is not going the direction that I hoped it would. And then it turned out that it was real bad um so then see uh, talking about the judging games feel by the way it looks watching you play that demo i thought that bloodstained was going to be extremely clunky and unpleasant to play and in fact i find that it controls just fine except for the part where your character is like 15 percent slower than she should be uh, until you get the speed belt and then she moves at the speed she should be all the time i put the speed belt and the i use the speed belt and the speed book uh yeah i mean i didn't get the speed belt for like 10 hours so you know, glad to have it now, but and then I use I switched to the ninja pajamas or whatever because you get when you're in. Have you gotten to the Oriental Garden yet, or are you not that far? I don't think I have. No, because I it's literally called the Oriental Garden, and it's full of like it's ninjas. Yeah, it's full of ninjas and Asian mythology type monsters and teleporting gates and stuff. It's very weird. You'd remember if you've been there, yeah, but you can get. The ninjas. Well, don't drop. tell me all about it. I'm just about to go there. Yeah, I think you are just about to go there. But the ninjas drop armor that is like pretty dope. That I think I okay. wore until the end of the game. Actually, once I had it. So hi Alex. Key someplace. What's going on here? Hi. Hi Alex. Hi. Yeah. What are you? Sp- I'm not getting what I, you're supposed to do. I now. need to find the uh, either a blue or a yellow key, but I. So I found the last fuse and I put it in the thing, but I'm not sure what room that lit up i assume it's one of the key rooms but i can't find the key so maybe this is where this ends this is the way the game ends well i mean there's just got to be a room that i'm missing someplace there's a donut in this bathroom did you explore the basement i thought so because like can you go past the fuse panel in the basement or so this this room connects to the kitchen that's the door on the far side. Yeah, there, I mean, there was a fuse on the other side of the fuse thing, I think. I think I'll look one more time. Also, the fact that there's only, like, four bars of music in this game is killing me. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm not listening to the music tonight. After being bummed out all week that I wasn't able to hear the music in the games we were playing, I'm now glad that I can't hear the music. Everything happens for a reason. Or so I'm told. <laughs> Uh-huh. Sure. Oh, I guess I can go past that? There's a ladder. I thought last time I was bumping into that wall, but... 
I turned on whatever this shit is you're playing for like two seconds, and I was like, man, I don't know how the fuck Eric is playing this. I would go bananas. He's doing it for you. Well, you can stop. Don't. I don't want you to hurt yourself. <laughs> no, I want to see what the next stage is. So. Yeah, me too. It's probably more of that. Maybe the walls are like blue what is instead this? of like oh, no. orange. Is this like a pipe maze? Like a full fledged? Oh god! Can I are make that fun? jump or? Nope, I guess not. Okay. And remember when Super Mario 3 did a pipe maze and it was like barely good because Mario is super good, but like anytime another video game is trying to do something like that, it's like awful and shitty. I hate that if a thing gets too close to you, you just can't hit it. Yeah. And also because I'm trapped between these pipes, I can't really jump over it safely either. You can't crouch and shoot? No, you can't. There's no crouching. You can't crouch at all. Okay. Uh, it looks like Blinky is pointing you in the... Is he supposed to be indicating which direction you're... I think he's an enemy. Go? I don't know. <laughs> he's something, all right. It's just, there's nothing here. There's nothing down here. Why does this exist? Am I supposed to... Maybe last time I games. hit Blinky and that knocked the acid down? Or the... I could try that again. Toxic waste or whatever. Because I feel like... A minute ago, the waste was higher, and I couldn't go this low. I don't know, I guess it was just a pit up there. I'm under the other pit. There's yeah, a pit on under. top of a pit. It's like a shelf. Now this is starting, you know what this, this is, is starting to remind death? me of? Oh my god, it takes you back to the, all the way to the beginning of the basement. Ugh. Um, Ugh. Uh, this reminds me of fucking Super Pitfall on the NES. Like, now that you're in the basement crawling around, there's yeah, pits this, on top of this, other pits. Yeah, this kind of, like, level design stuff. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> not a huge fan of weird maze level designs, for one thing. I'm not a huge fan of in Super Pitfall. Anything down here? Oh, okay, great. <laughs> okay, well, that's it for The Simpsons... That's... Night of the Living Treehouse of Horror. I thought, like, the simplicity of this house and the fact that it seemed like a thing that you could kind of memorize the locations of pretty easily and just kind of, like, traipse your way back and forth made sense to me. But once I got into the basement maze, pipe maze of instant death pits and flying fish, uh, yeah. I turned pretty hard on this game. Doesn't doesn't seem very good. I would like, like I said, I really wish I could see some of the other levels, but I. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna look up like a like a long play on YouTube while we're still here, just to see if it, like I reference any of the other. You know. Yeah, I'll try one more time to enter a code, I guess, but uh, my hopes are not high. I have a feeling that all the rest of the levels are also just, like, bad maze-like platforming levels. Probably. Yeah, almost but definitely. Find out. That music is fucking terrible. Holy shit, I can't believe you've been listening to that for, like, <laughs> a half hour. <laughs> I don't know I why can't... I can't pick the... The, uh... Unless it's like something wrong with this emulator or this ROM that won't let me interact with the password, so enter screen. So it looks like you end up having to get into the attic somehow, and you That's fight the, the broom. The, the broom is the boss. Is, yeah, the goal of that you save is, to, yeah, is to save the dog. Yeah, but the broom is the boss of the stage. I mean, I mean, that makes sense, because that broom was uh, pretty fucking nasty. Yeah. That broom is a real asshole. Yep. Oh. Man, I'm playing Dicey Dungeons, and I cannot relate to having bad music in the game. <laughs> I can't... Uh, so why can't I enter a password? Stage, How am I... The second stage appears to be Maggie... The, it's the fly, but with Maggie. Oh, man, I want to so see that. You play that. as Fly Maggie... And you fly around the Simpsons' kitchen. Into 
did I get this? That's pretty good. And you have to collect all the pieces of the teleporter. Of course, obviously. So it's basically the same thing, but with a different... Well, but you... you it's not... A, I mean, I guess it's technically kind of a platformer, but you, like, you literally can, can just fly. Yeah. Oh, why can't I use the password thing? Um, and then... Everyone in Springfield has become a zombie except the Simpsons in stage three, and it looks like you play as Marge. And it's like a top down. It's like Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Oh, man. Is this like a Game Boy Color game? It is yeah. a Game Boy Color game. Okay, that's what it looked like. A top like... down Zombies Ate My Neighbors Game Boy Color game. Sounds like complete dog shit. Then, like, Mo is a zombie in the sewer, and he pops out and. That's canon. This is, yeah, this looks That doesn't happen bad. till season, like, 28, though, so I'm impressed <laughs> that they saw that. And, and then Apu is a zombie, and you fight him, and he shoots hot dog condiments at you? Mm. What the fuck is going on? That all tracks. Yeah. So it's not really, I don't know, it's not really like Zombies Ate My Neighbors, it's more like, it's like a... You, it's like that, but bad. Well, yes, but no, it's more like <laughs> like you're you're continuously scrolling up. Like Zombies Ate My Neighbors, you kind of run all around the map yeah, and try yeah. to do stuff. This one, you, it's more like Commando or Guerrilla War or Ikari Warriors or whatever. Um, and then you fight five Mo's under five different sewer lids at one time. It looks like again, also canon. You clearly have not been. No, Watch we it. talked about this earlier. I, oh, I dropped shit. out of The Simpsons a long time uh, ago. Okay, sorry. I um, I and then watching. zombified Krusty, but he just looks like regular Krusty. Oh, well, I, now I just feel like I'm spoiling stuff. You figured it out. I figured it out, guys. You want to see some of the other levels? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. F. W. F. U. X. See, F me is right because I'm the one that's still playing this garbage. So wait, how did you? How did you? Because there's we another doing screen wrong? where it just says push start, which I thought was, but it's if you push over it, like changes the thing. But the uh. the menu options don't appear on that until you push left and right. <laughs> okay. Here, let me let me. I'll reset it and show you no, what no, I no, was that I missed it. Now, this is important. I want you to see this because it makes me angry, and I want you to be angry about it too. Because bad interfaces in video games is a fucking travesty. It's a real problem, right? It's a real problem. It's not a real problem, but it sucks. So you push start, and then it come brings you to this house, and then if you uh -huh. push left and right here, it goes start options password. Okay. Also, somebody's sleeping in the garage, I guess? Yeah, Fonzie. Alright, fair enough. That, that's the <laughs> same show. Yeah. Alright, right? is there any... I'm not probably going to do all of these levels, but is there one in particular? I mean... We want to see King Homer. Let's do that. I want to do the plan, The Zombies Ain't My Neighbor. That's the Plan 9 from Outer Springfield. Yes. Yes, plan nine from my right. S K C F S K C F K P J K P J T F S J Okay, so it does not, it's not actually a stage select, it just lights up the thing. Everyone in Springfield has become a zombie except the Simpsons. Brain sucking, flesh loving, murderous zombies attack Marge as she tries to get home. As fast as she can to save her family, help Marge destroy as many zombies as possible before they turn into a family of the Walking Dead. Of zombies! No, the Walking Dead. Oh, okay. They, they can't say that, they'll fucking sue, shit. Oh boy. Mm, this looks like a real nice top-down shooter. <laughs> I don't know how you managed to play 45 minutes of this. Uh, because I really want to explore the space, you know? 
Mostly I haven't been really paying attention and just What is she using as a weapon? I don't know. It's a syringe or something. Looks like I picked up a spread gun. It's gone. Aw. I hope you enjoyed your time with happiness. Boy, this is uh Like why does Zombie Zombie Apu have a ray gun or something? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, definitely have seen this episode of Treehouse of Horror, and I remember specifically that Apu gets a... Am I supposed to be able to beat this dude, or is he yes. just got... Yes, his, energy, his energy bar is in the upper left. Oh, is that you're his? Almost, you're almost okay, done. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, your health meter is the bottom. Yeah, mine's still at the bottom. You should remember that from all the times you got Bart killed by the broom. Yeah. What's up, Mo? Why are there so many Mo's? I guess that's not Mo, that's just a regular dude. You just yeah. got that generic kind of thing going on. Famous Simpsons character, dude. <laughs> Regular dude. I mean, it, that, that zombie looks kind of like Mo, but I don't it think it's It depends on the Mo. angle that... Yeah. Who am I okay, now there, there's Mo. Like I said, Mo's in the five, five Mo's in the sewer. Whack-a-Mo. Oh, which, looks Al cool. which Alex has uh, informed me is canon, so... Mm -hmm. I, All right, I don't think have... I can take any more of this, personally. Oh, come on. Oh, I gotta go talk to the cops. Right, let's, Shit. let's look at one more level. No, don't, Alex. King Homer. In this game, the cops are the good guys. So. Oh, you didn't say you were playing a video game. You just said... yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which game? Destiny. He's There's a character. Destiny too. That's uh, the only video game he plays. These pretty days. much the only video game I play anymore. That's not true. I've been playing that new dang old uh, Link's Awakening. <laughs> <laughs> Are you turning into Boom Hour? What's happening? Yeah, did you say New Dangled? Is that what I, I, did I... I say that New somewhat dangled. regularly. Evidently not around you guys, but um, <laughs> I do say Have that. Have you been watching a lot of King of the Hill? No, I actually don't like King of the Hill. I think Man, it's let me dumb. tell you, I've been playing this New Dangled. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so very... Shiny Ingram, man. <laughs> All right, X. What are you doing, man? Xquirf, JW, maybe somebody should type these into the text-to-speech chat and... Yeah, that's gonna help. <laughs> no, but it he didn't say he was asking for help. JWRB. That's true, that's true. JWRB, <sighs> TWP. Whoop. Oh, apparently this is the final level. Ooh, the gargantuan he? ape, King Homer, is on a rampage through the streets of Springfield in search of his true love. Help King Homer find his beloved Marge by destroying oh everything in his path. Cover God. buildings, punch planes, and destroy the army that is trying to put an end to his monkey business. This is like the fucking ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. What? Oh my God, this item I just found. Oh, so you tune God. back into the stream, Alex? Or No, no. <laughs> I'm just like, dear lord. What so hold they down, think? Homer blocks. That's cool. Crush that. <laughs> this looks like whatever. less like King Homer and like more like a elf if Elf and Homer had a baby. He looks like no, it looks like uh, if if Homer and Gizmo had a baby. <laughs> I can this jump looks on like these tanks. shitty rampage. I mean, it's. I mean, it's a hundred percent shitty rampage. I'm not doing. Yeah, a lot, I was I'm say, not doing hey, enough guess what this is. for it to be a shitty rampage. Like, if you couldn't climb the buildings in rampage, also rampage isn't that good to begin with. If we're being totally honest, so like. Homer's got fun quite in a the rack, though. When you turn left and right real fast. He has some. Hell, he has hella moves. Um, yeah, like if you couldn't climb the buildings in rampage, and there weren't like very many people to eat. And the, all the enemies did a shitload of damage to you, despite the fact that you're a, like a fucking kaiju. Uh huh. Maybe I can't can climb. Oh, I can donut? climb the building. Well, there you it go. is just shitty rampage. It is shitty rampage. But you can't eat the giant spinning donut. Apparently not. That few, I would say that felt like a setup right there. That you, I mean, I can try can again. You, can you punch the building while you're climbing it, or do you just climb up on over it? It just seems like I can just climb over it. That's really shitty rampage. If you can't smash the build the tall buildings, all right. this is stupid. It's not really rampage at all. Look. All right, this game is bad, and it's not worth staying up past midnight for. So I'm going to bed. 
That's the smartest thing anyone said since I got here. Well, I'm about to. But I'm appropriately files. horrified. All right. Well, that's good. I'm going to see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre tonight at midnight. So that sounds like fun. I'm getting ready. Cool. To be It'd be better if it was Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, but what can you do? So I really like Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, but it is not better than the first yes, one. Yes, it is. That is, that is that a ridiculous statement. That is 100 percent fact. That, that is, is more nonsense. fun and better than the first one. Well, more fun because the first one isn't supposed has, to be also fun. has a better it has yeah. a better jump scare in it than anything in the first movie. That's not true. Yes, the that is one hundred percent true. That when no, when he not. comes out of the fucking record archive in the uh, radio station, spoilers. One of the all time great jump scares. Right. Certainly, there is no all time great jump scare in the original. Like when Leatherface first comes out of the kitchen and smacks that dude. In that look, the man, that's fine, but shot. it's not. It isn't as good because there's not the tension of uh, what's his face talking to Chop Stretch top. for. Uh, for like five minutes beforehand. Yes. The it's in the top of, of his head with a coat hanger. With a rusty coat hanger that he yeah. uses a, a lighter to heat up first. Yep. Man, I love that fucking. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas 2 Chainsaw fun. Massacre Two has fucking Dennis Hopper. Yeah, lefty and right. I'm fucking Lord of the harvest. Picking out, cha- like, laying $100 bills on the counter of a hardware store and then testing out chainsaws on logs in the back. And yes. then there's a chainsaw sure. fight. Yes, there is. Yeah. It's, it's true. Th- that's a, it's a better movie. It is not as good of a movie as the it original is. Fight, it's, you know. You're right. It's not as good. It's better. That's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, having seen ne- neither of these movies, because I don't really like horror movies and I don't care, um, did you not I'm inclined do the... to agree with Eric. Did you not do the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 action cast? Nope. Us? Oh, man. You should watch. You know what? I know you don't like horror movies, but you probably would have fun with Texas Chainsaw Yeah, you Massacre probably would like too. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Yeah, I know. I would really every... need to see the first one. It's uh, like... You just said that there was a chainsaw fight and Dennis Hopper puts down $100 and starts like. Yeah, I, I get it. That's my movie. Also, uh, like, the house is a crazy maze. Yeah. yeah, I know. And there's probably, like, some sort of weird shenanigans where, like, the house kills somebody by accident. creepy old man. There's, like, a trap. Man, that movie's so fucking good. That movie rolls, for sure. I think the only Halloween action cast Alex did with us was The Stuff, which he then did a great intro for. <laughs> no, uh, we did uh, we did also that fucking Rocktober Blood or whatever the fuck. Oh, it was yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hard Rock Zombies. Hard Rock Zombies, Hard Rock Zombies. yeah. Rock- Rocktober yeah. Blood was the one Anthony and I went to see at the Draft House in D.C. Okay, well, either Hard way, Rock I Zombies, fucking man. hated it. Oh, what? Hard Rock on, Zombies dude, that, that movie had... a Nazi zombie eating himself. Yeah, zombie is... Hitler puppet eats himself. No, no, no. Zombie Hitler gets killed oh, by no, the Hard yeah, Rock Zombies. Right. Yeah, it's just a right. Nazi zombie puppet that eats himself. For no reason. Like, there's not... It doesn't have anything to do with anything. It's just something nope. that happens in the movie for no reason. As as time goes on through the movie, we keep checking in on the zombie <laughs> eating himself, and... Hey, guess what? He's still doing it. Still, yep. Still there. Living still the dream. It. Just yep. like me, one, one I'm living the dream by stopping playing this game. <laughs> Check out Homer's boobs, though. It's pretty good. This game yes. sucks. Yeah, that's not surprising. Although I honestly, it's more interesting than some of the various other Simpsons games that I have played over the years. So it's got that going. That's for a that's a low bar, my friend. It that's is. I will bar. give I will give the Simpsons like a lot of those games credit for like they all have weird things in them and they all try to do things. They just all also happen to suck ass. So, anyways, that's it for this tonight. Goodbye. I take care. Good night, everybody. We did it.